there was so much just negative emotions within me because I was friends out and I loved this girl so much that I just started being really mad at her. We would always argue. I was, I tried to hide it, but I was really je jealous. I was jealous. I was, I was needy. And yeah, so when I would hear about all the other guys in her life, about how much she loves them, I would just get, I would be so hurt on the, on the insides. And so I decided that I have to confess those feelings if I, if I just do not want to keep getting hurt like that. It just hurt me really badly on the inside. Mm, no, it makes sense. I mean, it sounds like a pretty crazy situation. Um, but I'm assuming uh, it sounds to me like you have this problem normally. So I'll probably have to give you like, I'm going to give you some some advice for the future of how to like prevent this from happening a little bit more. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems like a guy you're probably the type of guy that gets attached extremely easily and i'm not really sure why i'm not gonna we probably don't have to get into that too much but what i can say for the in the meantime i think you got to be a little bit more careful with how much you give before you get what you want you know what i mean so like like there's no reason why you should be talking to this girl for eight hours or whatever a day and every single day like even if she gets mad at you like i mean it's not like your job to care like if someone gets mad at you for not talking to them that, that's their problem right like you have to be busier because what happens is is like and I, and I consult tons of guys about this right they give so much and by giving so much and talking so much to a girl like they start to get attached to them but the girl didn't do anything to them like to justify that attachment like yeah, so it's one of those things where you have to be very, very emotionally disciplined. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but the situation is that I, I was, I, I wasn't the one that that was giving. I would say it was pretty much quite the opposite because I never, literally, I never texted her first. I never called her first. And when say I would be busy because I don't know, I was driving. I was, I don't know, playing games on my computer. I was studying or anything else, she would just spam me with texts, with calls on why am, am I not responding. And she would be very, very open about about why she is not satisfied with that. She would just straight up say that she would ask me why am I not giving her the attention she wants? Why am I not speaking to her? And she's mad at me that I am not giving her the attention. So, so, so that scenario, yeah. why didn't you ask her? Well, it's because I'm not your boyfriend. Why didn't you say, or say that? Sorry, not ask her. Why didn't you tell her, oh, we, I'm not your boyfriend. Why would I give you that much attention? Well, I guess I just, at the very beginning, I was, I was scared to lose her because since I moved schools and she was my only friend there at the new school, I just, if I lost her, then I would be left uh, completely alone. Yeah, I didn't make any friends. I just, I don't know, this girl kind of focused on me and I didn't, didn't push her away and i just found myself in a new school and i didn't make any friends so yeah i was just worried that i would be i would be left alone once i you know started push or i don't know even give signs that i was very interested in this girl mm, i i get it yeah i mean what i can say to you at this point is that you kind of live through that now but as a guy, I don't think uh, girls always make uh, the best friends, right? At least not as only friends. Uh, I think it's really important to have guy friends. Like sometimes girls can be okay friends, but in general, like my honest opinion is that girls and guys can't really be friends without some sort of interest one way or the other, um, at least not independently. Like sometimes in a social circle, that's possible, but uh, independently, it's very, very, very difficult, my friend. So yeah, I. Yeah. yeah, I hope I, I hope that you I, learned that lesson at this point, at least. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and check out my website in the description to book a call. Thanks for watching.